I disagree. This, this is what I say. So when women are upset at us, they call us dogs. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's an insult. I think men are absolutely dogs. In the sense, and, and, and good, bad, and ugly, in the sense that men are trainable. Just like For you sure. said, men are linear. Mm -hmm. We are myopic. We are very singularly focused. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, we are not as dynamic as women like to think we are. Oh, we know. We know. And so my point <laughs> is, my point is like, you know, Lee could probably break this down better than I can, but like dynamic range in photography and videography mm -hmm. is the ability to see the details in the light mm -hmm. and in the darkness. Mm -hmm. Women are far more dynamic than men. That song, I'm every woman. A woman can literally be 15 women at once. Uh -huh. Men mm -hmm. cannot do that. Mm -mm. And that goes back to what you said about potential. Mm -hmm. The problem is women fall in love with who she wants us to be, not who we are. Exactly. I've been telling women to fall in love with projection, not potential. I remember you saying so, that. So, yeah. so with that being said, if, if women were to look back at these mm -hmm. exes that uh, uh, pulled a rabbit out of a hat and tricked them so well, mm -hmm. they realized that that nigga was not a magician. You were just naive. Yeah, for <laughs> not, sure. I, you know, I, I, I don't even want to say naive because naive makes it seem like y'all didn't know. I think y'all mm -hmm. fully know. It's just you would rather believe the fairy tale. For sure. That was my last, right. sure. so that was it's, my it's, last relationship, it's, 100%. It's, it's blue pill in a For way. Sure. Like, I would rather, I know this is bullshit, I but I would rather. Be, so I think if the reason I keep bringing it back to women, if women start saying, kind of like in the 50s or the 60s and 80s, you have to have a top hat, uh, double-breasted suit to talk to me. Niggas will have top hats and double-breasted suits tomorrow. Now, some niggas will be bad at doing that because that's not who they are and the, the facade is not going to last well mm -hmm. a woman could look at a man and say okay this nigga wears suits regularly mm -hmm. versus this nigga going to court yeah right mm -hmm. but over time what we'll see is men being dogs being singularly focused being straight line will adjust themselves and become that to suit what the female delegation is literally rewarding for sure but until that and if women decide that i would rather live in my fairy tale then you will have these bad magicians. That's all That's these all. men who get women are. I've been that. They're just for bad sure. magicians. Yeah. I wasn't lying to her. Yeah. She wanted to believe the bullshit. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think men, I, I agree. think it's still a dream too. You, you, that on the last episode, we talked about when you were saying that if women said that they don't want no more light-skinned brothers, mm. oh. right? Mm. That, that was a, a, valid, a valid statement. Mm. And I've been saying this for years that it's going to take take the woman to change the dynamic of the reality that we're dealing with. Mm. Because I have so much power and influence, mm. I don't feel like y'all want to step up to that plate. Right. Y'all don't want to step up to that plate because if y'all knew that y'all can raise better men, right? Be better wives, mm. create better environments. Why wouldn't y'all do that? Is, is the question. Mm. Why I feel like wouldn't? it's happening, but it happens in those relationships that are not... What, 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 Glamorize what, on social what, but media. But we're talking about on the macro. Because okay. the thing that annoys me about this female empowerment movement is, in one sentence, there's this sister, mother, goddess uh, reverence that we now have of women. Women mm -hmm. are God, this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I brought up a, during a podcast that I did, um, and I said, okay, what's the number one killer of black people? Food. Food. Mm -hmm. What sure. part of culture do the, does the female delegation own in any community? Mm -hmm. Food. So if, if we're serious about changing things as a black community, can women own that? And I mm -hmm. got so much pushback. Oh, you want to blame the women for the heart disease? And oh, I tried to cook good for my boyfriend yeah. and my husband and he fought me and this, this and that. But yeah. it's like you don't get to own all the critical acclaim and all the benefits of having authority and having power and being a goddess mm -hmm. without any of the responsibility. For sure. So if you want to be a goddess, here's a list of responsibility and here's a list of things. If they go bad, it yeah. is your fault. Yeah. And I think, I think the same thing for men. For sure. So when we see the insecurity in the black community, that's black men's fault. Mm -hmm. When we see, uh, uh, um, you know, the, the, the fact that a lot of boys would rather go into athleticism as opposed to mm -hmm. uh, STEM, that's men's fault. Mm -hmm. But if we see kids 
who can't read at grade level, that's women's fault. Yeah. And what's wrong with us saying that? They'll say the daddy, the, the father wasn't around. They'll still put it on They'll name. still put it on the father. And the, to, to, to your point of being able to, to just acclaim that, mm -hmm. just that responsibility, right? Just to say, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook better for my family, my children, on a nurturing level, mm -hmm. right? Like, instead of me giving my kids the oodles and noodles, I'm going to give them the fruit, mm -hmm. right? Just, just raising her awareness to that point to where as though she can say, you know what, I am going to equip myself better to better suit to be able to raise this family and to be a, a good spouse to my husband, to be a leader or a goddess or whatever she mm -hmm. feel like she want to be at, at the time. If she can't even step into that line of responsibility, mm -hmm. like you're saying, what makes her valuable enough to demand all of these demands that she's having for a man today. Yeah. Hmm. So... I'm be honest, when you first started your spiel, in my head, I was yeah. cussing you out. I'm not going to lie because the whole, it's your fault, blaming, they're trigger words. Mm. But as you continued and clarified. You got to let me get I, all the way I did. in that's why. That's mm -hmm. why I just sit here. I, 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 I'm cool. I cooled down because mm. I was hot in the pits for a second, <laughs> but I cooled down. And oh. I'll, I'll explain why. Because women have taken on a lot. Mm for a lot of years, especially black women. And to be blamed for things like the whole, like if you're an allergy food, that is, my, that is my best way of showing someone that I love them. Mm. If I've never cooked for you and fed you a meal, I don't really rock with you like that. Mm. Like we cool, mm. but now don't start asking for no damn food, Alan. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just like, that's, that's where, like that's, yeah. that's me and it's like, from the perspective of, okay, the food is unhealthy and we're the ones that make it, I go back to my mom being a single mom who didn't always have time to make, oh, let me think about how nutritious this meal is going to be. Mm. But I know these chicken wings, these pork meat wings, going to feed a lot of people at one time and it's going to be quick and I ain't got to be in there all day. Mm -hmm. Plus, I got to check my kids' homework to make sure they're spelling and reading, right? Go over the spelling words so it's correct. Make sure that they're, they're you know, that they're doing their schoolwork. Oh, and I got to mm -hmm. make sure the house is clean. All that fell on her. So mm -hmm. inside of me gets offended when you say things like that because it's like, first the motherfucking oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're yeah. the ones that are keeping things, sure. keeping things mm -hmm. going. Sure. So I think that's probably where a lot of women come from because mm -hmm. that's, like I said, it, it, you, 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 yeah. you PMO'd me just now mm -hmm. <laughs> real bad. But mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. It's when you likened it to where men are failing, mm -hmm. I get it. So in my household, my girlfriend has come to the stage of a lot of our health problems are connected to our food that we mm -hmm. eat. So we need to start eating better. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was hesitant at first. Mm -hmm. The fuck you mean? Because <laughs> who the fuck wants some kale? You better get them collars so I can put this pork fat in them and fuck them up. You know what I'm saying? But I had to understand you're doing this so that we can be better. Mm. So while I'm not going to completely go, okay, well, I'm going to go full force at it. Mm -hmm. I understand that you're coming from a place of you want to be healthy, you want to be better. Mm -hmm. And I cook the majority of the food in the house, so I need to work on what I'm preparing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's made a difference now. I, your girl mm -hmm. like kale. I never thought I would like it. Mm -hmm. I can, I'm more open to trying those things because she showed me the way on it. Mm -hmm. And we're both women, so I get where you're saying with it because I wouldn't have had that thought process to try more things. Mm -hmm. If she hadn't have put that in my head and like put it out there to me and showed me the benefits of it. And now I'm reaping the benefits of it. I understand it. Yeah. So I understand where you're coming from, where we have to be the ones to kind of put our foot down. But like I was over here boiling. It's frustrating because with all that we do and all the hats that we wear in a day, mm -hmm. a week, a month, a year. It's like, oh, blame us for some, uh, something else. We don't get the credit we deserve all the time, but we get the blame. Mm -hmm. That's where I, that, that's from I'm my saying. perspective. Even though, you, even though you said what blame men have, yeah. what I heard was what women did. And the things that I, that I do and work too hard to show my love for my family, like cooking, mm -hmm. you're criticized. It sounds like criticism when it's really not, but it sounds like it. I, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, say, I'll say this. And again, this might not hit well either. But I think back to your analogy about men being more... Mm -hmm this and women being more this. Um, have, 
Have y'all ever seen that? Um, it's like a meme or or a short video of a of a kid who's supposedly drowning, but all he needed to do was stand, stand up. up. Yeah, I saw that. Mm. That's a lot of women. Mm. Mm-hmm. A lot of women put themselves in more difficult situations to then get credit for their ability to navigate those difficult situations. Sure. And I think that's where I want to bring the conversation back to mm. because even the example of the woman who is working three jobs to raise five kids mm-hmm. and the whole nine, she was the same woman. Mm. And a lot of women will say, well, I was young and I was dumb, who mm. made the decision to get pregnant by four different men yeah. who she knew would not be responsible enough yeah. to take care. So, but, but then we frame it. We start the story a lot of times. Mm. And I think this is what frustrates men with she's busting her ass and she's doing, quote unquote, the best she can to now take care of five kids without starting the story in, she put herself in that. Now, and I understand it's more complicated than that. A lot of women Mm -hmm. have trauma and it leads them to uh, sexual promiscuity Mm -hmm. that inevitably leads them to having Mm -hmm. multiple multiple kids Mm -hmm. and a more difficult life and they have mental health issues and the whole nine. But again, I think the bigger picture is you cannot own the praise without owning the responsibility. And I think a lot of men now mm-hmm. are saying that, hold up, wait, I've been taught all my life to give mom praise for doing quote unquote the best that she could. Mm-hmm. Now I understand that she could have done better. Yeah. She could have done better from jump by not getting pregnant by my quote unquote deadbeat daddy. Yeah. She could have done better from jump by not doing all the different things that she did to traumatize us, to, to take out her trauma on us. So this idea that we continue to push of like women are benevolent and they're always just doing the best that they can. That goes for men, too. But that's not part of his narrative. Mm -hmm. It's not part of his narrative that he was touched when he was eight. And that's why he ended up being a man whore. Mm -hmm. He was touched by a 21 year old woman. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So my thing is, okay. I want our community to improve. Mm-hmm. This and this and this and this and this is what I think the men, the male delegation needs to do. This and this and this is what I think the female delegation needs to do. And these are all the, the, the ways that each delegation should take credit. Mm-hmm. And these are all the ways, the same ways they need to take responsibility. I think we frame it as blame because that's what it sounds that's what, like. That's what it felt mm-hmm. like to me. But it's not, it's not blame. Mm-hmm. It's ownership. It's, it's ownership. responsibility. Yeah, yeah. So if we're saying black men are God, black women are goddesses. Yeah. What's your domain? Yeah. You got to step into that responsibility. Mm-hmm. You got to be, you got to be that wholeheartedly, mm-hmm. you know, like from what you walk to what you talk. Yeah. Right. That has to be the essence of who you are. Mm-hmm. Right. So is, it brings me back to the conversation about ownership. Right. Mm-hmm. Like in my household. Right. I'm Jada God seven. It ain't just Jada God seven because that sounds like a good name. Mm-hmm. Right. It's Jada God 7 because I carry myself godly and godlike. So if she sees that and the kids see that, they follow that. Mm. They don't just be like, oh, you know, this is somebody that has a unique name that sounds catchy. This is the person that's getting in the, in the, uh, in the kitchen juicing, right? Waking up 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, hitting the treadmill, right? Whatever it takes. I'm emulating change so that it can be a reflection. So that my queen can be a queen and not just one who states that, mm-hmm. right? So if she doesn't reflect what I am, I don't reflect what she has reflected, then it's, it's null and void. It makes no sense. Mm-hmm. So like you're saying, if I'm taking that responsibility and she's taking that responsibility, then we can see the manifestation of what a family unit should look like. I'll say that because I just thought about something when you just said it. I think part of our issue as a community is religion y'all stay with me for sure because when i when i when i thought about this whole god goddess phenomenon Mm -hmm. we are taught that we can never blame god Mm -hmm. he may not always come when you need him but he's always on time Mm -hmm. god never gets any blame so now if you think of yourself as a quote-unquote god Mm -hmm. you don't associate that with responsibility Mm -hmm. you don't associate that with blame you just associate it with authority yeah and i think for some black men, and I think for some black women, mm-hmm. that's where 
this narcissistic ego is coming from of just worship me yes. just focus on everything about me that's lovely yeah. just focus on everything about me that's great mm -hmm. but don't hold me to any standard yeah for if sure. this goes wrong it's not my fault it just mm -hmm. happened yeah and you exactly. should be glad that I'm here with you to watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you're 100% right. Mm. Because when you think about, like, um, with my lady, we've been together 10 years. Yeah. When I first met her, as she started to, to transition and change, mm. right, I decided to give her a name. And I said, well, you know what? Your name is going to be Queen Refinement. And she said, why are you giving me that? I said, because you went through the process of refining yourself. You've decided to change because you wanted to change based on the information that was given to you. You just didn't just, I didn't just wake up one day and say, that's who you are. This is what you earned, right? I didn't just give you a title to yourself. And she had to learn to walk in that. Mm -hmm. And one day she came to me, she's like, I think this is too much responsibility for me. Mm -hmm. Right? I was like, what do you mean? She's like, I think it's too much responsibility for me. I said, no, it's not too much responsibility for you. It's just that now that you're aware to who you are, when you look in the mirror, right? I've taught you to do that. Look in the mirror at you, mm. right? It's never about me controlling the dynamic of the relationship. It's about the value of what I instilled in you to control that. And once you got that value, the only person you can look at is yourself, right? right? It ain't me no more, it's you. Because now you are the reflection of what I am. You just can't, it's no more, uh, you, you want to be in control conversations, right? Mm -hmm. It used to be that. Mm -hmm. Right. And to bring it back to men, like me, me being a father now, I've, I've learned so much and I've gained such an appreciation of masculine energy. Mm. Because even now, like I'll, I'll notice my, my little daughter, she's two. And her mom could say, sit down. But she says it in such a loving way mm. that she'll sit down if she feel like it. I could just look at her and she runs to the nearest seat and sits sure. down. Because she knows that, like, my first job is not nurturing. Mm -hmm. my, my first job is getting your ass in line. Exactly. Right? And I think what's happened, because a lot of our families have been just that maternal nurturing energy, mm. people don't know how to take the, this is what you need to be, this is what you need. Because... Yeah. No offense to y'all, y'all's nature is to coddle, to love, to mm -hmm. the, the worst behaved dogs yeah. that I've ever come across are dogs owned by women. Yeah. For sure. Think about it. I'm thinking about my baby. She, <laughs> yeah. she, my girl listens. She just But, but the sometimes. best behaved dogs, dude, oh. them dogs don't get on the couch. They know daddy gonna whoop your exactly. ass. Exactly. But the women, oh, you just sleep in the bed with them. Oh, you no, know? we don't play that. I'm just saying, you know, in most cases, yeah. right, you mm -hmm. see certain, like, to bring up the dog factor where the woman is okay with the dog going mm -hmm. outside, then jumping in the bed. Mm -hmm. Where well, the man ain't going to, you know, ain't he's going for that. It. Yep. So it is, there is a difference. And it's not a, a um, to belittle a woman in right. any means. It's just to be informative on just these small changes can create such powerful influences. Right. Right. If we just look at you say the macro, we just look at the macro and start making adjustments to say, well, just let me cook a little better in my household. Right. Let me hold a healthier conversation in my household. Let me not just always live my trauma in my household, but let me live what has changed and influenced my life in my household. You see, everything starts to it start to change. And, Even. Yeah. And, and the thing is, women. And, and this is this is what inspires me but also kind of breaks my heart about this whole thing mm -hmm. i think y'all don't give yourselves enough credit for sure women are freaking pop even in this manosphere space we're talking about the whole red pill some of the most successful creators as far as lucrative yeah. are women for sure in a space full of men who yeah. hate women yeah. the most successful <laughs> creators are women yeah. which tells me that female approval Female insight is so, even for the men who aren't conscious enough to recognize it, mm -hmm. it is so, so, so valuable. So what I'm telling my sisters is, listen, if y'all want to see better men, you have to be better women. Have to. 